Later, the signal appeared stuck in between the two positions. In the event, the driver was accelerating as he passed the signal. He had no chance of stopping and hit the stationary train at around 60 miles an hour, catapulting carriages into the river. The crash killed five people and injured 51 more. The central problem for this inquiry is that only two men would know exactly where that signal was pointing as the express came along here only seconds away from disaster. One was the driver, a highly respected man with 37 years experience on the railways, and the other was his mate, and both of them died that day on the banks of Invergarry Bay. Now, the main news points again. Armed thieves hijacked a van in East London and stole £4 million worth of silver ingots. The Common Market Summit, which was due to open in Brussels next Monday, has been postponed for several weeks. A man has been arrested after the explosion which destroyed the Italian consulate in London. The deposed Shah of Iran has been warmly welcomed in Egypt by President Sadat. And that's the news tonight, so from me, good night. Good evening to you. Well, there have been a lot of showers about down in the south this evening. Even some thunderstorms, one reported at Weybridge, another at Bracknell, one or two others in the southeast. They're in association with this front, which is tracking northeastwards. We're going to stay fairly unsettled over the next few days as this low tracks its way in towards us. Another one forming on those fronts coming in and attacking us from the south. But let's look at the satellite picture, and this was taken a couple of hours ago, and it shows the mass of cloud associated with those showers and storms from the southeast right up to the Manchester area. That's now moving away northeastwards, but as you can see, still a lot of showers to come for us tomorrow. In fact, as far as tomorrow's concerned, it's going to be a showery day. Not too many showers, I think, inland to start with. There'll be some sunshine there. But the showers will be developing as we go through the day. And once again, one or two of them could turn out to be fairly heavy, possibly with hail and thunder, and even still a bit of snow mixed in them in the far north. But in the extreme northeast, they're a bit more persistent rain to start with, gradually turning more showery. Well, that's it from me. Good night. On Wednesday, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Sir Geoffrey Howe, reveals politics' best-kept secret his 1980 budget. What's in store? Higher beer, petrol and tobacco prices? Income tax changes? Will there be further cuts in public spending? Changes in unemployment and social security benefits? We'll bring you the key passages from the Chancellor's budget statement live from the House of Commons, an analysis of their effect on your family budget in Nationwide's Budget Special, Wednesday at 3 o'clock. Horizon on BBC Two shortly attempts to pinpoint the substance and influence of the invisible blanket surrounding our planet, the Earth's magnetic field. Here on BBC One, we continue this evening with the Monday film. Beau Bridges and Blair Brown star as a divorced couple fighting over custody of their children in The Child Stealer. <laughs>